Okay, so I've gone uh, around the kite and I've almost finished the battle uh, to the point I want to show you some more things. I've made all the, the connections and the good thing about the, the bridle stick is that uh, it measures real measures. Uh, it's not dependent on the size of the knots. If you make uh, a knot and, and dress it one side or the other, because that makes a difference uh, in, the, in the final measurement. It measures final measure. So if I want to know if I'm correct, I can always check from point A to point B, turn from the right side, from point A to point B, and it will always match exactly. Uh, that has uh, many implications, and one of them is that you're not dependent on the on the size of the line, because if you change your line from 0.6 millimeter to one millimeter, the knots will take more line and the, the, the bridle will become shorter. And if you use thin and line, it will happen the same. In this case, it's independent of the of the size of the of the line because you're measuring final measure. And that's important. And that's why I told you that the, the measure of the top and the lower is not precise. And we use it as a fuse. Um, if you see here, there is a little protrusion. Uh, there's uh, more line than we need. And that's because we leave some line. If when I'm going to take my last measure, for instance, that one, from here to, ah, sorry, it's twisted, like that, from here to what it have to measure, which in this case is seven. It's perfect. If I don't have enough line because I've made any mistakes or for whatever reason I, I feel that I have no line left, is because there is a mistake. So I can go about around and check for the measure. But look at this, it's exactly on seven, which is where it has to be. So I don't really care about uh, the line because I have a load for the knots to, to account for themselves. And with this fuse, we just leave the kite perfect. I just trim it and throw it. And there's another place for, with another fuse, which is that one. And now I know for sure that the kite is perfect in uh, in every measure okay we, we can be sure of that so now for the second part of the um, for the second part of the wind tip connector the one i told you that goes mounted into the bridle this is the final leg this is the one that connects this is the bridle in its uh, real configuration this piece goes to the wind tip and in here i'm going to attach the connector i showed you before so the first step <laughs> is to pass the, the vinyl end cap. I use a hook to pass just past the, the line, like this, and pass it, anything will do. Now, the, the vinyl is with the, the opening towards the, the, the end of the line. We just put it here and forget about it. Now we have to make a little knot here, like in all the attachment of the bridles, and I have to use my wire to pass it from the thin side to the thick side. I do it like that, I pass it, I take the line just like before. I pull a little bit on the, on the knot until it shrinks and then I wrap it around. And it's fixed in here. Now I have to attach it into the, into the kite itself. And that's how we do it and then that's something you can possibly do with your kite often because uh, sometimes it gets a uh, drop. So you have two sides here, one with a loop and one with a, uh, a knot. This is the puller. This is in here for you to pull on the line. So the, the best way to put this together is to open the loop and we want the bridle line to go up. So we put it in the connector, we feed the line through the slit and now we can pull. Okay. and. This is uh, not fixed in the other side because we are just making it together, so it goes easy. But normally, you will have to open this loop and pull with your full hand and make a strength. And then we just put it on the slit, like this. Okay, is it correct? No, it's not correct. Black over black. And then, when you pull it tight, the knot will shrink. Like that. Now that it's like this, uh, with this little tip, we just put it back again here somehow, so it doesn't protrude. And now we just take the vinyl end cap, forget about the bridle, we just put it in like that. 
and then you pull on the line on the bridle and it will go to the exact spot that it needs to be and that's uh, almost finished it's only two more details left we have in my pocket we use these um, what we call lead lines which are longer than than the regular kite um, because uh, it's one of the places where more damage uh, is uh, exerted onto the kite the the place where you cross with uh, with other people so this is the the attachment point for the for the top line and in here there's a tiny loop we just thread our magic tool and we use the top line which is shorter than the lower one and we just pass it and make a lax head that's uh, just regular and these lines you can of course service yourself change them for another ones thicker longer shorter whatever you want the second gun goes in this point in this point there is three lines okay once with slides which is the one who comes from the top and the other two we will take a, this is like a y formation you see top and two lines what we will do is take our loop uh, the longer one and we put the the what the two the, which are together we hold them like one and we make a loop we pass the line and we're going to large head uh, uh, similar to all the rest okay we go like this and now we have to pull it tight now we pull slowly from the three lines so they stay in the right shape in place like that and then we give it a little tug and it's fixed and with that the the kite is finished uh, normally what we do is that uh, when we are finished with one side and to avoid tangling we make a knot we put you put just the two the two leading lines go down and make here uh, just a little knot and that way there's no tangling possible and that's about it i think there's quite uh, a lot of uh, new techniques on the making of uh, these beautiful detox and we keep improving them that's uh, what we love and what we do and maybe the next time you see us we have different connectors because we find another advancement or whatever but so far this is one of the most uh, technologically advanced kites we've ever made uh, for sure we are very very proud of the of the process so do you have any questions you know where to find us esther.com see you guys